as of yesterday, July 6th, yes. John Jones is off of his suspension. Nice. He is officially Who's back in the game. Who was suspended for last time officially? Uh, was he it gets, not he gets the... Into a lot of shit. Well, he, yes, that's true. Um, it was not Sam blasting hookers this time. No. Um, but I, if I'm not mistaken, it was the tainted dick pills, was it? Was it tainted dick pills? Okay. Because he came back from the running over or hitting the yeah, car crash with fine. the pregnant chick. Yeah. The he pregnant came back chick from that fine. and he yeah, was, was supposed good. to fight. There was the cocaine. There was the cocaine. That was fine. He was cool. That wasn't this one. And then he got busted and it ended up being tainted dick pills. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if, so if I'm not mistaken, fight. that was the most recent yeah. of his. Uh, yeah, he's back. He's back with a bang, or maybe not so much with a bang. Yeah, we'll ha- we'll wait to see. Um, I feel like almost you would have a better chance betting whether or not this fight actually takes place. Yeah, I wonder than what the betting on the actual fight. Yeah, I wonder what the over under on whether this fight materializes. Or not. You know how they have the uh, was it the unstoppable force versus the immovable object? Yeah. This is the inevitable pullout versus the perpetual fuck up. <laughs> That's what this is. Um, I'm very curious to see how this fight is going to go, uh, considering John Jones' last outing with Ovin St. Pru. Yeah. Considering he's been out for such. You're talking uh, about DC, yeah. Uh, yeah, his fight with DC. Yeah. Okay. Just I'm about. looking forward for. I'm looking forward to John Jones' fight with DC. But Jones' last fight with Ovince St. Pru yeah. was kind of lackluster. Yeah. So how he's going to perform against a DC who's been con- fairly consistent competing yeah. while John Jones has been out is going to be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's... You never really know after a long layoff. I'm trying to think of people who had a long layoff and came back strong without the ring rust. Yeah. He might need a tune-up fight or two. I mean, you never know. I don't know what he's been taking, but there's a lot of substances seem to be flowing in and out of his body. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to fit. And just the time off in general, and just his, where his head is at. Well, he has been uh, competing and doing a lot of jiu-jitsu stuff. Okay. Cool. So he's not entirely cold. Okay. Um, you and can have knows? dick pills in jiu-jitsu. Uh, I mean, you know, who knows? Uh, cool whether or not, I, you know, I would hope what that country, they don't. America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would hope they don't. Uh, they don't encourage that, you know, pre-workout. I think yeah. that make for a very awkward role. Yeah, you yeah. Know? <laughs> Although it might be a good distraction, you know. Right? right. Yeah, you, you know, you take his back, you sink the third hook. You know, he's not getting away. <laughs> you might tap out real quick just to, <laughs> you know, check the oil, as they say. Um. So that's definitely coming up. How do you feel about that? Do you have a preference one way or the other as to who you think might win that? Preference. Um, both of them, I'm kind of ambivalent, but not in a way like I don't care. But like they both, both personally and, and professionally, have their ups and downs. Mm-hmm. Um, DC is a fun, is probably the best wrestler in in the upper in the higher divisions okay you know, in, you know in middleweight or not he's probably the best wrestler pure wrestler um his fights can be pretty boring sometimes but not always i think he did a great job of disposing of um rumble in the last fight yeah I mean, he, he whooped him real good um so i mean he's he's he can be fun he can be boring personally he can whinge a lot he can be kind of complainy pants and like kind of negative but he's also kind of seems like a cool guy sometimes when he's not necessarily in the limelight directly Mm -hmm. so I don't know how I feel about him and then Jones is like I mean in terms of he's got I think he's gotten less and less exciting as a fighter as time has gone on which happens to a lot of guys once you're champion your mentality changes you know I wish he would go back to the early days of John Jones as a fighter you know both personally also he's got these two sides to him where he can be a real kind of prick and then he can also be like a he can be like a decent stand-up guy but I don't really know what to make of him and where he's gonna or, you know how he's gonna come into that fight so I can't make any um, judgments about who I would like to win okay and I also can't make any judgments about who's going to win because I really don't know where John you, you kind of know where DC's at mm-hmm. you kind of know what to expect from DC he never really surprises you but John Jones is like I don't think I if I if you have to push me on it, 
I would say that John Jones is not going to come back as well as he did before, but he's still undefeated. So I can't say that he loses that fight. What's, in, what's going to be interesting, so uh, one of the things that Jones mentioned on his uh, interview with Joe Rogan was that, you know, he used to go out and, like, have these crazy parties about a week before every fight so that mentally he would have the scapegoat of, mm. you know, well, if I lost, that wasn't really me who lost. That yeah. was me fucked up after a week of partying yeah. who lost. I didn't try, so, yeah. Exactly. But... But he still won all his fights. He did not do that against Ovin St. Peru, and that was his least impressive performance. Yeah, he was real boring. And I wonder, you know, some people go so long with whatever their mental crutch is that when you take that away from them, they don't know how to cope with the pressure or with, you know, the various aspects mentally because they haven't exercised that. It's like a guy who goes to the bar and gets drunk before he talks to a chick. Yeah. And then one day you just go to a normal place that doesn't have al- alcohol and say, hey, go talk to that chick. And he's, and he's super he's nervous because yeah. he doesn't have that lubricant yeah, in yeah. place. Um, yeah, you could see that with Jones potentially. I'm curious to see if there's going to be any of that because I'm, I'm hoping he fucking like, gets it together before this fight and doesn't do anything that will jeopardize it. Uh, I think it's going to be very interesting. That's that's the most I can say. If someone put a gun to my head and said, either you pick correctly or we shoot you, I would very tentatively go with Jones. Yeah. I'd say so, too. But I wouldn't be surprised if... Yeah. Yeah, for sure.